A.J. Wilkinson and Company was a Boston-based importer, dealer, and manufacturer's agent of hardware and tools that was established in 1842. By the late 1860s, they offered foot-powered machinery including wood and metal laves. From what we can tell, it was very likely these were made by other manufacturers and simply sold by Wilkinson. This lathe has a four-foot bed that allows about 34 inches between centers and will swing about eight and a half inches. This was the longest lathe they offered. The table is 54 inches long. Headstock bearings are bronze or brass, resulting in a very smooth running lathe. The two-stage headstock pulley and matching flywheel at a normal treadling rate will produce about 1,200 RPMs on the fast setting. The flywheel has a counterweight that positions the pedals such that they are ready to go by pushing down on either or both. This eliminates positioning the flywheel and the pedals by hand. Pedals slide along the rear square rod allowing the operator to position them as best fits the work. The location of the pitman arm at the far end keeps it out of the way of the operator and its design allows it to disconnect from the shaft if by chance the operator's foot were to get under one of the two pedals. It is very hard to find complete foot powered machinery. Broken and or missing parts are very common. The hook part shown here was missing requiring the need for a pattern to be made so another could be cast in gray iron like the original. An image found online some scaling and some woodworking took care of that. The other part of the pitman arm was broken off so that end was built up with Bondo and became the pattern. Sent them off to Cattail Foundry and then when I have got them back did the necessary machining in my shop. The wood table needed to be refinished and the metal parts repainted to make her look as good as new. Made a new belt and installed clipper links so the belt could easily be removed and this finished out the overall restore. Having several treadle wood lathes, including the Seneca Falls crown shown here, or the very nicely decorated Barnes No. 3 Velocipede, I can truthfully say this Wilkinson is one of the smoothest and easiest to run lathes I have ever operated or seen. I have a somewhat shorter version of this Wilkinson called the leader lathe that I take out and demonstrate at historic sites and shows. It always draws a crowd. It can easily be taken apart for transport. Oh, you may have noticed an old bandsaw in the background. That is a first model crescent badge silver two piece 20 inch foot powered bandsaw that I have restored. More on that in a later video. To find out more about foot powered machinery please visit my website at footpiredmachinery.com. There you will also find a video on restoring a C-frame Crescent 20-inch foot-powered bandsaw as well. You can also contact me there through the Contact Us page. And if you're interested in antique and traditional hand tools, please consider Midwest Tool Collectors Association. To learn more about MWTCA, visit mwtca.org. Thanks for watching and keep on peddling.